Hi everybody. Hope everybody's having a good evening this evening. It's um it's a uh, finally got some nice warm weather and and uh no rain and everything and just want to welcome you to um our our um our our recording this evening. Normally we write live stream, but this evening it's going to be a we're pre-recorded on Saturday. So, I'm going to open up with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day. And we just ask you, Lord God, for for um for you to Lord God to speak through us in due season and bring a word of encouragement, bring hope, bring strength, Lord God, and, and heal our land, Lord. Heal our land, Lord God. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Great to be here with Holly. Uh, my lovely beautiful wife. Okay. My <laughs> lovely beautiful husband. <laughs> well, yeah, we don't call husbands oh, beautiful. Oh, handsome. Sorry. Handsome. That's right. Handsome. Um, it's happy to be here, and I, I, I know that maybe you've heard the exciting news that President Trump has declared worship centers essential. And um, and that's exciting. I mean, it, it was a yes. it was a bold declarative statement, and that's that's a that was a real exciting move. And the the question is, does he can he do that? Well, here's how I roll with that. I just he's the top dog in our our nation. Yes. <laughs> okay, and. Um, you know, and there's a there's this thing about state rights versus uh, uh, federal rights, and and um, uh, the freedom of uh, of religion is a constitutional right, which evolve, involves every state. And if a state went to cancel out religious freedom. It would it would be in violation, and it would it would it would it would, um, and the federal government would take action. So uh, I I'm rolling with that. Of course, I've already been rolling with that, right? We've we've pretty much stayed open, and and to our governor's credit, she really hasn't been hard on churches. She really hasn't. She's been. Um, She's allowed. Uh, she said. She said that there would be no misdemeanors or penalties if mm -hmm. um, e you know for people going to places of worship. Mm -hmm. So, um, and so I, I'm not dogging Governor Whitmer on this either. She 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 hasn't been bad with with the churches. Yeah. So, um, so we we continue to be open and uh, we are. Uh, we are we are putting into place best practices for this virus, and we've already blocked off every other pew. We've already taken um, uh, the the Bibles and the hymnals out of every pew, and and so we've done things like that already. We're, we do have hand sanitizer all we over do. the place. We do. Do we have one over here? No, we don't. But we do have them there. 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 Yep. So. We do, and we're going. Here's here's an irony. Huh. Gypsy Vodka has donated uh, hand sanitizer to us. Wow, that's wonderful. <laughs> Thank so, you, Gypsy Vodka. I think that's amazing. And our niece Jessica <laughs> yes. made it happen. <laughs> so, yeah, our niece works at for Gypsy Vodka, and, and uh, uh, a weird combination of. Uh, of church and um, alcohol coming together. <laughs> yeah. But we're yeah. thankful for that. Uh, the other thing that we're going to do is um, we're going, we're, we've ordered 500 uh, of those communion things. Communion cups. You know, the, the, ones, the, the ones that come with the wafer and yeah. the self serve, I guess you call it. Yeah, so we're, go we're, yeah. Going, we're going to do it. We're going to do communion like that. Um, hopefully we'll get them in uh, by the first Sunday, but uh, yeah. So we we are open and we're going to stay open, and uh, until they 
they lock us up in jail, put chains on the doors, and that might happen one day. <laughs> it might happen, so we have to be ready for, for those type of things. Um, and so the sign outside will say, we're open. We're open. Open for God's business. <laughs> open for God's business. So, uh, and Holly's made up a, uh, a new uh, um, image for our, uh, for our Facebook page. Yes, I did. So. I did with a, you know, that with a, with a introduction that we're, we're, it's our still open reopening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we stole that from Silas. Um, we saw him today, and it was yes. kind of nice. And the park, yeah. Um, the the message tomorrow will be: uh, What have we learned during this season? Mm. So it's going to be a, a really a con uh, how you say commute commute com whatever. It's going to be a a. a, a Looking back at, at really the, the all the messages I I gave during the season and mm -hmm. and uh, what what has the Lord shown us what has the Lord taught us and yeah. um, and we are going into a new era and I, I really believe that starting on Pentecost Sunday which is next Sunday um, yeah. so and that's what we want to talk about is is uh, supernatural Saturdays. Um, as you know, we've we've had Supernatural Saturdays for uh, the past couple years, right? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Past couple years. Yes. And uh, we've really seen a lot of miracles, signs, and wonders uh, during that season. Um, and Patty was actually Patty. Uh, Patty Veers was actually running Supernatural Saturdays. Uh, the, this this year in 2020 and as we go forward we we want we're as with everything during the season we're taking a look at everything mm -hmm. you know, what what does the Lord want us to do different mm -hmm. so and that's the season we're in and so we're, we're taking a um, we're taking a strong look at Supernatural Saturdays, and it's, it. I know it's going to change. I know it's going to change, and I can give you some ideas, but I'm hesitant to say for sure what it's going to be like, mm -hmm. um, because we really don't know all the details of how that how Supernatural Saturday will look going forward. We might even change the name. So, um, but some of the things that we've been looking at, uh, uh, we have this thing with the House of Worship that really has been placed on Aaron Jackson and Love Detroit's mind. Um, so we have this going on and and um, we you know and the, the Lord was showing us stuff you know even as we were getting together for uh, houses of worship uh, in 2019 we did a few of those and I just felt that there that in that expression that the supernatural aspects of God needed to be displayed also Mm -hmm. So we're we're thinking about how do we combine those two, yeah, together, yeah. Um, because everything comes out of worship, right? Right. <laughs> so uh, our witness, our our mission, and the tools that we carry on our mission, which are, are these supernatural tools to uh, show uh, God's glory in a dying world, mm -hmm. right? So that's a, that's some of the stuff we're looking at, um, and we're we're not ready to um, to start that day one. I mean, you know, uh, 
uh, be like June 6th. We're, we're, we're not ready, or June 5th. We, we're not ready to, to, to do that right off the bat. Yeah. I really believe that there's a reordering that's going on in the body of Christ. And with that, things are coming back online in order. Mm-hmm. So uh, we've been we've 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 ramped up our intercessory prayer. We've actually have two prayer meetings here now. Mm-hmm. That that as a result of the coronavirus and coming together, we have two prayer meetings. Uh, we only had one, but now we got two. Um, and we talked about doing that for a long time, but during the season we did that. Mm-hmm. But out of intercessory prayer, I believe that the next thing the Lord wants us to get going and get right is worship. Um, yeah. And that's, that's our next uh, weapon that we're going to pull out of our sheath. Is that how you say that? I think so. Yeah. That's our next weapon. It's a very powerful weapon. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we're we're working diligently on worship right now, um, and seeing how that will look in this new season. And um, one something else that we might do in regards to Supernatural Saturdays is we might develop a video for every Supernatural Saturday every Saturday evening and release that. Mm-hmm. So that's that's something else that we're looking at. Um, so those are just some of the things we're, we're looking at doing, but um, ultimately we do want to be available to pray with people too. Mm-hmm. Amen. So that's not going away. It, it won't happen right away, but it will happen. Amen. And then the other thing is uh, maybe we go outside for Supernatural Saturdays for a, for a, you know, the summer. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So all these things are, are, are what we're looking at. Amen. So. Amen. Um, yeah. So you, what do you think, Holly? I think it's great. I believe that the Lord is um, directing our steps, and uh, and um, we're going to keep doing what, you know, keep following the Lord and doing what we do best, and be open to what He also has to go to the next level. Amen. Yeah, yeah. God wants to show His glory, and one of the ways He shows His glory in John chapter one is by doing miracles. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, yeah. that's what was going on with Jesus. Jesus was walking around doing these miracles, and the glory of God was being radiated throughout that region. Amen. So, and, uh, of course, Jesus was made famous, and, and that's still our goal is to make Jesus famous. Amen. So, Amen. so we just wanted to share these things with you. They're, yes. they're exciting. Um and we, we want to just be obedient to what the Lord wants to do. And uh, that's kind of where we are. Amen. So, anyways, uh, I just want to say God bless you and uh, uh, become a believing believer. Amen. And uh, check us out tomorrow on uh, either come here. Come, come to First Assembly, or you can watch us live on YouTube stream, or what is it called, YouTube Live? YouTube, YouTube Live. Yeah. Through our website. It's yeah. connected to our website. So. dhfirst.ag, dhfirstag.org. So, anyways, uh, we're going to close out in a word of prayer. Holly's going to close out in prayer, um, and we will... Hopefully see you real soon. We're looking forward to it. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we just pray, Lord God, that um, you will help us with the steps to come, Lord God. God, we love you. We want to glorify and praise you with everything, with our whole hearts, Lord God. 
And Lord God, we just pray, Lord God, that you will be glorified in everything we say and everything that we do, Lord God. We also ask for a special prayer for um, the people of the Midland region. Lord Jesus, their towns have been washed out. Their homes have been um, wiped away. Um, lots of devastation and damage, Lord God. But Lord God, I pray, Lord God, for restoration for that region, Lord Jesus, and um, for a lot of grace, a lot of hope, Lord God, of restoration, Lord God. God, help the people that, uh, that have no home. God, provide for them. Bring help, bring provision, Lord Jesus. Bring provision in ways, Lord God, that we never even thought of, Lord God. God, you own a cattle on a thousand hills, Lord God, and we know that you're able to provide supernaturally, Lord God, for everything, Lord God, that we need, including the people, Lord God, of, that, of, the, of the Midland region, Lord God, and we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Have a good night, everybody.